It's okay, people. It's okay. We're gonna... folk can thank Uncle Micah when the eating's good. You hear? <laughs> lady but she began to cry and I couldn't go through with it why on earth not said she needed the money her son had lost his leg in the war bring me something she soon if you can outside? Arthur no, no doubt, well. but she was old good we really needed this I felt bad. reckon she feels bad for the war I don't think she called her any more than I did oh, well, thank you Arthur a woman not Karen bad. normal you know I don't see things like that I know you see things simple and clear. Clear. Hello, Enough Arthur. Simple. I posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. How's it going? So-so. Sorry to hear that. Hello. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Charles? How are those fire arrows? Good, thank you. What are these? Oh, a little different. Poisoned arrows. My uncle showed me how to make these when I was very young. Poisoned arrows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not very nice, but very effective. You got me some oleander, and I'll make you some. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Arthur. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. There she is. Why don't you sit, Arthur? How are you, Arthur? Okay? <laughs> I think so.
I hate Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Right, follow me. Whoa. Whoa. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> In fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey yeah. was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Look out. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. 
Them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right oh. here. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. Tell us where you stash your money, and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. some good stuff <sighs> why don't you see what else you can find Sean told you we take him no problem didn't I you did good let's see what the pay is first dug this up all by myself a proper lead all right all right you heard him right he said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom Find Anthony yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there.
Hey. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Welcome to you and your horse. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. I 
missed that nag. Real good one. You okay, mister? I'm gonna die! Oh, oh. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Drink oh, this. To It'll help. Suck the venom. Is that medicine? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Oh. 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 I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. I, 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 out here. No more. Uh. Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Easy now. Look here. What they done to you? Easy, easy. Easy there, easy. Easy. Uh, your stripes better not rub off on my pants.
Okay, boy. You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> you all right, girl? Hey, partner. Go away.
Settle down, my friend. Settle down. Because we are here today for a very special occasion. Yeah, woohoo! It is important that we reestablish sanity and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning. Thanks to the fools in Congress uh, and their ludicrous ideas. Uh, but today, we grow one yeah, stronger yeah, yeah. as we yeah, anoint yeah. a new brother oh, yeah. into you our sacred cause. Yeah, yeah. Please step yeah. forward and Woo. kneel. Right. <laughs> Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right. Come on. Hey, hey. Let go. the eternal light shine. Yeah. 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 Seems like maybe that's a sign, eh? A test. That's all. A test of devotion to our great cause. Whoa, easy. Got you now. You should be more careful. You're getting robbed. Wait up, pal! I ain't serious! Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. 
Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. Let me bring the wagon along. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like... like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Found your dog. X dog, X line. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll... It was friends. Shut it. Oh. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought since they was close and all. This is the kind of speed you're meant to take in a dust storm. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. If we was going this slow, we might not have lost those animals to begin with. 
Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. Depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. road around here when the dust was up be careful or you might get wrecked too okay you know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out mr margaret's a lot of things but best female navigator ain't one of them uh, imagine you're right about that we was tearing around here looking for any kind of landmark when over we go whole caravan toppled found each other and some shelter but when the wind died down the animals was gone and now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway line, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
Thank you, Mia. Yeah. Bottom up. Mm. Ah. <sighs> sorry, old business, dear. Yeah, it's sorry, all right. That bloody dust, devil. Dust and gin are a bad combination. <sighs> Don't bring old Tom into it. Let a man have some pleasure. It's been a jolly hard day. Ain't it just... <laughs> I'd sure like to see that other lion, Mr. Morgan. Your work is done. I was through this way. folks about who covers their face I'm just fine Holy alone time. you better get going Okay then, girl. Give me spice, will you? Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold yours! I saw its claws. That's enough for me. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. It looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Look what 
what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. I've never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. <laughs> 